Hi, and welcome back to Carving Up the Trails. I'm D. Carver is not with me today. He's with his mom. Um, but they're getting haircuts and all that good, fun stuff. But today, I wanted to talk about something that has impacted the Jeep community over the last few years, and that is Duck Duck Jeep. We had the opportunity to meet uh, Allison Parliament's partner, and he was kind enough to share the story. I'm asked all the time. What are what's up with the ducks? Where did it come from? Well, if you want to find out, listen to his story. 2020, when Allison Parliament came back up from Alabama, which she's living with her parents to Ontario to uh, be with her almost 90 year old grandmother at that point, with the lockdowns of COVID in Ontario, you could only have one person come into the house. So she was coming out to be with her grandmother. Got as far as the Woodstock rest stop uh, in Ontario, and somebody saw her Alabama plates, started yelling and screaming at her, and shoved her back in her jeep, telling her, go back to your country, you're spreading COVID. So she got away from that situation, got the gas she needed, got back to family, shaken, obviously. And from that, she was out with family uh, in Bancroft, Ontario. A friend of hers that she was staying with, she was gonna hide a whole bunch of rubber ducks. Uh, in his house that, that for him to find later when she left. She'd come out of the uh, store that she bought the ducks with and saw a really nice built Jeep sitting on the street. Make this guy's day, nice Jeep. She just got hers, it wasn't built yet. She put it on the Jeep, the guy caught her. Oh. And the big built guy, muscular guy, she's like all intimidated because he's like, crap, what did I do? What? And they got chatting and he says, you know what, let's put it on social media. Let's post this for people to see. About two weeks later, she was getting messages from media outlets wanting to do interviews. What's this duck thing you start? From there, the Jeep community absolutely grabbed it, ran with it, and uh, it's turned into this. Jeep grabbed it. Um, the community, as you can see, uh, oh, yeah. is using it. Uh, it's gone international. I think 87 countries have ducks that put on a Jeep. Yeah. People from all over sent her ducks. Unfortunately, two months ago she passed. She's not only seen the prototype of the duck, hadn't actually seen it yet, but uh, it, it's lost and it's gone very well. But yeah, yeah. now we have this international kind of movement called Duck Duck Deep, and it's all about making people smile. It's, it is. Yeah. She for no other reason to make their day. You want to really get cheery? She helped. The story's a good one. She helped, whatever. She stopped yeah. making it. So I appreciate you telling the story. Allison's story is unfortunately one that we hear about all the time especially with me being a middle school teacher, you're always running into people just being mean to be mean, not understanding the whole situation, not taking the time to talk to people. And Alice in Parliament isn't just a trendsetter. She's a world changer. Unfortunately, she left us way too soon uh, by passing away earlier this year here in 2024, but she will never be forgotten. Uh, if things continue to go the way they are, ducking will be something part of the Jeep community long past when I'm gone. Uh, so Allison's story, although it's unfortunate that she had experienced that, she created something that was so beautiful and so amazing that impacts people not just here in the U.S., but all around the world. And one thing that I see all the time up in Pigeon Forge when we go for Jeep Invasion or when we're out just going around and we hand out a duck or somebody comes and hands us a duck, it's just happiness. It's joy. And if that's what we can send to this world, then that's what we need to do. And Alice in Parliament, thank you for giving us here in the Jeep community something so pure and so beautiful. You will never be forgotten in this community. Like, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. As Carver always says, stay, always stay outdoors and God bless. We'll see you next time.